You know, I had a hunch that you might have company, Gina. And I had a hunch on who it might be, too. It's amazing how often co-conspirators end up bedfellows, isn't it? Uh, Casillo, uh, do you have a warrant? Oh, this is a, a social call, really. No, I don't, I don't think Gina recalls giving out any social invitations here. But, uh, uh, and so if you don't want me to fix it so that internal affairs looks oh, like... Oh, you can fix just about anything, can't you, Keith? You certainly fixed Santana. <laughs> You figured nobody would believe her because they'd think it was the drugs doing the talking. Got bad news for you, buddy. I do believe her. I believe Gina got her addicted. And I believe you were in the car the night you hit Eden. Obviously, the two of you made some kind of deal with each other to back up these phony stories. I believe I've heard all No, that. you haven't heard it from me, not this way. You haven't heard me promise that I'm not going to stop until I nail the both of you. And you haven't heard me mention that I've already come up with some real damaging evidence against one of you. What evidence? Wouldn't you like to know? Guess you're gonna have to sweat that out, huh? Guess you're gonna have to wonder who I got the goods on first. We're gonna have fun, I can tell. Knowing the two of you like I do, I'm sure you'll be climbing all over each other to get to me first. But that's okay, right? What's the harm in selling out your main squeeze for a little leniency? Sorry to disappoint you, Cruz, but... I don't have anything to sell. <laughs> That's loyalty. This is an invasion of privacy. You're right. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I hope you uh, two lovebirds will have a good time. Don't forget to keep an eye on me. 